What's going on, everybody? I just wanted to go over the volume of a pyramid. Almost misspelled that there. Versus prism. So in this picture, we have um, a pyramid, a circular pyramid, which you know is a cone. Okay. So if I just put that right here, that's a cone. All right. That's a circular pyramid. And then a circular prism is a cylinder. But they have the same properties as a prism or a pyramid. The difference is the bases are circles. So if you look here, the volume of a prism is the same no matter what if it has two bases. In other words, here's a base, here's a base. There are two bases to find the volume of any solid shape that has two bases. You're going to multiply the area of the base times the height. If it has one base and comes to a point, then technically it's a pyramid or a cone. And it, the formula is the area of the base down here. In this case, it's a circle times the height, which is also called the altitude. That's this number eight right here. Not to be confused with this height. That's called the slant height. It's not the altitude. Okay. So it's the area of the base times the altitude or the height divided by three. So this can carry a third of this. So the capacity, this capacity is one third this capacity. So let's just go back and recap what we're doing here. So the important parts for this, identify the base as a circle. Okay. Formula for the area of that circle is pi r squared. So the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is a circle. The circle has a radius of four. Okay, radius of four. And then the height, the distance between the two bases is 10. So pi times four squared times 10. Four squared, 16 times 10 times pi. Commutative property multiplication affords you the opportunity to move pi from the front to the back. Multiply the numbers, 160 pi cubic inches. Now this, the numbers are a little bit slightly different here. This altitude is 8. The area of the base is same shape, so it's still pi r squared. Remember, we're going to divide by 3 because it only has one base and comes to a point. So if this were a triangular base, it would be 1 half of the base times the height times the altitude divided by 3. In this case, it's pi r squared times the altitude divided by 3. So the area of the base turns into the area of a circle because the circle is a base, pi r squared. We're going to divide by 3 again. The height, remember, is 8, not 12, because you're looking for the altitude. Pi times the radius squared times the altitude. So that's 16 times 8 pi, divide by 3. We're still dividing by 3, 128 pi over 3. And if our units are inches, then it would be cubic inches. So key ideas, if it has two bases and we're trying to find the volume, you do not divide by 3. If it is one base coming to a point, it is a pyramid or a cone, you divide by 3.